Hey there everybody, Arlos here from Ice Games, bringing you episode 64 of my Star Wars The Old Republic Trooper Let's Play with the T here. Uh, back on the BT-7 Thunderclap, about to head to Coruscant uh, to talk to General uh, uh, about uh, what we need to do next, because we just finished up everything here on Voss. Although the Voss didn't make a decision between the Empire and the Republic, uh, it's looking like it's looking like they they probably going to swing our way. Uh, we also got all the troops that were kind of not stranded, but like parked on the planet uh, to actually get to see some action in our a war against the uh, Sith Empire. So let's uh, take a quick trip to Coruscant here. Uh, bloop. Ooh, apparently the dark side is winning. That's not good. Uh, so let's travel now. Uh, head there and speak to General Garza. Let's head this way. I don't think any of my companions need to talk to me because we ended last episode with talking with everyone, so everything's good that way. So let us exit the ship and head to Coruscant itself. Gosh, I do love this planet. It looks so awesome. I mean, I know it's um, it's an entire planet of, like, one city in a planet, but it still looks kind of cool from, from space like that. All right. Ooh, you can store items in your cargo bays of your ship. Actually, I haven't had a big problem with my inventory being full, which is kind of nice. What I mean is also because I'm not been, I haven't been collecting a lot of like different items and stuff like that. I haven't been doing a lot of like um, Garza, crafting and stuff. I hadn't expected you here, or Agent Balker. The Senate situation is more complicated than I could explain via hollow. I couldn't be certain my office wasn't being monitored. What I said before was accurate. The Senate has called a hearing to investigate the actions of special forces. Havoc Squad specifically, but what I couldn't say was that the senator behind these proceedings is actually an undercover agent for the Empire. The entire hearing is a sham. How could the Empire possibly get an agent elected to the Senate? They didn't. They just bought someone who was already in place. We have the evidence right here. His name's Zion. He represents a tiny little rock in the middle of some very profitable trade lanes. With the help of Imperial Intelligence, Senator Zion has slowly gained influence. Now he's turning that influence against us. It's just another shot from dear old General Rackton. Zion gets Havoc suspended. Rackton gets the break he needs to turn the war back his way. What's our move? Arrest Zion? Not exactly. The military doesn't have that kind of authority. And detaining Zion would only fuel his accusations that we abuse our power. I want you to attend the hearing just as the Senate has asked. We can't risk him getting away. Go and conduct yourself respectfully. When it's your turn to speak, present the evidence the SIS has gathered. The Senate will have to investigate, and we'll be free to resume operations. I'll get this cleared up in no time. Remember, Senator Zion will do his best to paint you as a loose cannon. Don't do anything to prove him right. I'll be waiting in my office. Report back to me as soon as the hearing is complete. Dismissed. Have fun, Major. All right. Can't be a loose cannon. Uh, so I'm not going to take 4X with me. I'm actually going to bring because... Boop, boop, boop. I'm actually going to bring uh, Dorn with me. Understood. She's pretty by the book. And uh, just kind of become a kind of Republic citizen. Oh, she's got that awesome armor on. So where are we headed to right now, guys? We are... Head to the Senate Tower, I, I believe. So let's just a uh, quick travel to the Senate Tower. Makes things a little bit easier. But uh, so the Sith Empire have bought one of the senators. That actually is really smart. <laughs> you know, if you can undermine their entire uh, government, I think that's probably the best way to go. Uh, if the uh, the Republic could do it, they probably would. That's for sure. Got a bunch of Senate guards. More Senate guards and stuff. Uh, you back there, Dorn? Awesome. But uh, I've got to got to remember to uh, to make sure I'm answering all these questions properly. Uh, you know me; I might get a little little hot headed here. Oh, they'll oh they'll probably bring up the fact that I killed that uh, all those soldiers and saved one. Oh my gosh! I didn't even. <gasps> oh no. I just thought about that right now. They're probably going to bring that up. I have to, I have to be very, very um, cautious around that one. That's for sure. All right. Let's uh, talk to the Senate here. Kind of a small little meeting room for the Senate. 
you know, you'd think they have a huge chamber. But, uh, oh well. Welcome, Major. We appreciate you taking the time to come and respond to our concerns in person. Senator Zion, you may proceed. Thank you. As many of you are aware, Havoc Squad is widely considered to be the finest infantry team in the Republic military. Their reputation earns them a great deal of leeway, so much that they have become a danger to the Republic itself. My friends and colleagues, what is it that Havoc Squad actually does, day in and day out? Disturbingly, almost no one knows for sure. We all remember the mysterious disappearance of Havoc Squad's previous commander. No doubt, a crime was committed and covered up. And that nonsense with the so-called gauntlet superweapon. An astronomically expensive operation to destroy a science project whose danger was never substantially proven. And it was only after that reckless operation that the Empire attacked us with full force. Why wasn't the Senate consulted beforehand? I will end with this simple fact. Since the war broke out, Havoc Squad hasn't made a single trip to the front lines. If all of the Republic's battles are being won and lost without the help of our best team, then it's time we made changes. Thank you, Senator Zion. Major, if you'd like to make a response, you may begin now. My team is not a threat to the Republic. But traitors like Zion are. I have evidence here proving that Senator Zion is a paid agent for the Sith Empire. This is outrageous. Are we really going to tolerate wild accusations like this? The commander of Havoc Squad deserves more than to be dismissed out of hand. Preposterous. I called this hearing to present facts, not paranoid delusions. The imps paid you to shut us down. That's what this is about. Please, let's all remain calm. I see no reason we couldn't delay these proceedings momentarily to evaluate this new evidence. Guards, seal the area and allow no one to leave until we are prepared to reconvene. Senator Zion, in light of this evidence, I must order that you be detained by the Senate Guard pending charges for high treason. But this is insane! I'm no traitor! Whatever you've seen, it must be a forgery. Some kind of military conspiracy. Please accept our apologies, Major. I hope you understand that you were called here with the best of intentions. You have a duty to ensure that we're acting in the Republic's best interest. That's right. And rest assured that your tireless efforts in the Republic's defense are greatly appreciated. Given the change in circumstances brought about by new evidence, I hereby adjourn this meeting immediately. Major, you're dismissed. Oh, that was easy. Uh, I like that, that's for sure. Alright, so report to General Garza's office. So let's head back down here. Yeah, gonna go back down. Could I just, could I just jump it? No, 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 that'd be silly. That would be silly. I probably, probably would die for sure. And we don't want that. Um, so let's keep going this way. And, uh, yeah, so the reason I remained silent those first couple interactions is I knew an outburst wouldn't be good. And I, I kind of like how you have the option just like, and boom, you're dead. I mean, that probably would not have gone our way either. So I'm glad I didn't choose that one. But I kind of want to see what that one would look like. Uh, it'd be kind of fun to see. Uh, maybe if I do another trooper, I'll go go and see how that, that all works out. All right. Go on your back. Awesome. See what uh, General Garza has to say. Major, Lieutenant Mai, I'm General Garza's new assistant. It's a real honor to meet you. It's good to meet you too, Lieutenant. Could I see the General? I'm afraid General Garza had to leave. An urgent situation on Corellia. I can put you through to her via hollow if you like. That'd be great, Lieutenant. One moment, please. Major, I understand our dilemma has been taken care of. Reports are already circulating about Zion's secondary income. Rapton could have buried us with this one. If the SIS hadn't come through, if you hadn't convinced the Senate to review their evidence, we would be finished. Well done. I'm just glad everything worked out. We were fortunate, there's no doubt about it. Join me on Corellia as quickly as possible. General Rapton has taken the field personally. This is the opportunity we've been waiting for. I'll get Havoc to Corellia on the double, General. I'll give you a detailed briefing after you touch down. Garza out. 
General Rackton. It sounds like you better hurry, Major. Good luck. All right. Ooh, lots of light side points here. Lots of experience too, which is great. Oh, I'm getting my little uh, little um, stuff here. I tried um, get my preferences to graphics. I tried doing my anti-aliasing up again, but uh, looks like that's still not working properly. So I'm gonna drop that back down to medium, and that should get rid of that. Yeah, I don't know why that's messing up so much for me. Uh, either way, let's travel to Corellia. Um, let's actually uh, just use this to travel to our ship. Nice little quick uh, travel there. Ooh, I've also got to use my uh, main abilities here, too. You can now view visions in your group member's mission log in the group mission log tab of the mission log U GUI. Oh boy, that's a lot to say. Alright. Oh, it looks like someone wants to talk. It looks like Jorgen wants to talk here. What do you have to say here, buddy? Outstanding news, sir. We've got a positive fix on the Deadeye's location. Garza's people just finished decrypting the coordinates we sent them. The data points to an Imperial outpost on Hoth. Another labor camp, most likely. Let's get down there and bring those soldiers home. Right behind you, sir. Once we get those men out of there, we can put all this craziness behind us. I just hope we're not too late. Oh, okay. We got a side mission here with uh, Jorgen. So let's do that quickly. Where are we headed to? Let's travel to Hoth. Finish that one up before we move forward with our main story. Okay, so let's um, sit in our captain's chair and travel to Hoth here to find the dead eyes. I kind of like sitting me sit in the chair, kind of as a captain. It's kind of cool. Sometimes I wish, like, I mean, I guess you could, if you're playing with other players, get them to fill the filled seats to kind of do some role playing and stuff. But that'd be kind of fun. All right, let's head out side here make sure we got all, all of our cold weather equipped cold weather equipment quick equipped so we can uh, maybe not freeze to death that would be awesome I would like to not freeze to death but heading back to Hoth here um, ooh, additional character slots are available from the cartel market that's nice even though I haven't filled up all my character slots yet, yet because I think you get like 12 or something like that for um uh, if you're a subscriber, I believe. Like, don't quote me, I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Alright, so let's um, move forward here. Ready for some more uh, Hoth here, Dorn? Oh, I should probably bring Jorgen with me, actually. So I probably will, so let's switch those guys out. Good luck. You're going you're gonna to want to rescue your, uh, go. your uh, um, dead eyes there, buddy. All right, got a Jedi Master here. Do I have any items to sell? I do. What's that? A little gun here. Yeah, so let's um, talk with you. Elements. Let's sell junk. I'm going to put this down here. Might save those up for other post. characters and stuff. Let's uh, turn on a rocket boost again. Kind of get moving down here. What is this story arc? Hoth? Okay, already done the story arc, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh my gosh, there's lots of debris and stuff around Hoth too. I guess it was um, um, Hoth is supposed to be like a uh, uh, ship graveyard kind of a thing. All right, where are we supposed to go? Way over here. Of course, somewhere we have not been yet. There we go. How close can we get to down there? Uh, looks like this is going to be the closest we can get. And I'll have to hop on a mount to get even closer. Quick travel. Jello has been dispatched. Alrighty, righty, right, right. Hold by Unchained Wrath. Let's hop on a mount. Do you have any? No, you don't have any flourish. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a little bit of a travel here. 
Let's take a quick look at what this actually says. So, uh, Eric Jorgen has advised you that the decryption of the Deadeye's coordinates is complete. The remainder of the squad is being held in an Imperial outpost on Hoth. Uh, Jorgen has requested that you head to Hoth and free them immediately. So, locate the Deadeyes at uh, Derelict's excavation site in the Icefall Plains. Oh, oh boy. Well, let's take you out. Apparently, uh, you want to fight. Let's do this. There you go, you're down. Nice and easy, like. Let's hop on another speeder bike here. Bloop. Here, you have a flourish. So, control Z. Little lasers in front of me. If only those did damage to enemies, that would be, that'd be kind of fun. I mean, I understand why they didn't do it, but it'd be super awesome if they did. Um, let's also take a look here. So, General Rackham has finally taken the to the field. Oh, okay, he's... So we need to... Um, actually take him down on Corellia. That's okay. We need to save the Deadeyes. Maybe they can help us um, in the war against the uh, Sith Empire. So we can take these guys down. Gosh, I kind of missed Hoth. Hoth looks kind of awesome. Cold, but uh, awesome. Ugh. What else we got going on? Uh, actually, I was going to take a quick look. I'm trying to get ready for when my crew skill or my my uh, um, uh, combat proficiency is available, so I think I get to do a legendary one. Got a few di different options here: um, adrenaline surge, uh, smoke screen. I don't really use smoke screen at all. Uh, propulsion grenade, grenade grant smoke screen. Um, activated super charge shell. Don't really use that. Oh, finally found the Icefall Plains. Uh, allows full auto bolt storm and successive termite to be activated while moving. Oh, that's actually kind of good. Where is my full auto? Um, bolt storm. Which one's bolt storm? Reversion. Med shots. Uh, successive treatment. Uh, oh, a bunch of skills maybe I don't have yet. Let me take a look here. Maybe I do have them, I just don't have them. But it looks like, that's, it looks like that could be a good one. Uh, a one-man army hinder. Hindering the target with Electronet grants one-man army, increasing your... Oh, boy. Oh, oh, you must be seeing... I was like, why are you going so fast? Uh, just need super red cell reduces cool jam, general rush, and... Uh, suppression protocol. So stealth scan generates suppression protocols, increasing the damage and healing dealt by your next non-channel direct damage spell. Okay. Well, none of those seem like amazing or anything, but definitely makes them work. You know what? I think. Oh no, that's um, that's a Sith Empire. Oh, I'm in the the Empire area here. That's what's going on. There we go. That makes sense. I'm gonna capture them and put them down here. I'm gonna just hop down here, uh, get off of this, and do some recharging or reloading. Sneak past the Imperial soldiers here. They don't even notice me. There we go. Let's sit inside here for our trooper phrase. So let's find the dead eyes. Hopefully they're not too hard to find in here. Come on, you're, you're down to damage too, right? Okay. Come on, Jorgen, let's do this. Or Jorgen. Can I, like, do anything with the Tauntaun? No. Aw, I want, I, want I want to ride you. <laughs> you guys are all down. Awesome. No bonus objective. That's fine. Kind of hoping for one. That button here to see. Okay, we got a little bit, little ways to travel down here. All right, recharge or rearm, or recharge or reload. Okay, feel soldiers, take you down. Let's light you on fire a little bit too. Maybe do a mag bolt and then a charge bolt on you. Boop, you are down. 
What are we doing for fun? 1.2 million. I'm liking, liking the amount of money I have right now. Alright. You're down. Oh boy, you were coming from pretty far away there. I like that. The longest I've seen an enemy kind of come into, come into combat. That's from the furthest distance, I think. Uh, definitely a crash ship uh, in this cave. I wonder if the cave formed around the crash ship or something like that. Maybe. Oh, I think we got some of the dead eyes down here. It'd be it'd be so awesome if like if they actually joined our crew to actually like fill our ship up. Well, she actually get closer to my abilities. There we go. Let's save these guys here. Barracks. How? You two still breathing? Uh, more or less. Didn't expect to see you here, sir. Nor I. Care to tell me what you two are doing here? We're rescuing the Dead Eyes. Play nice, and maybe we'll let you tag along. Maybe I don't want to be rescued. Don't you get it? This operation was never about rescuing POWs. We've been after one thing, Dusk Nine. Impossible. That place is just a myth. Is it? We'll never know now. Thanks to you two. If that's true, then you lie to the Dead Eyes about their mission's real objective. Of course. We could hardly expect a bunch of grunts to keep their mouths shut. Next to the Emperor's location, Dusk Nine is the Empire's best kept secret. Hundreds of Black Ops projects are born there. It's also a prison, according to the rumors. The things that supposedly go on there, too horrible to be real. We're more interested in the intel hoarded there. We seeded thousands of bugged soldiers into the Imperial penal system, hoping for a bite. Why so many soldiers? To improve our odds, naturally. The more soldiers we seed, the better our chances of someone winding up at Dusk Nine. We were using the wrong bait. The brass at Dusk Nine weren't interested in common soldiers. But how could they resist an SIS agent? So, I bugged myself, staged a bogus rescue operation, and let myself be captured. I was awaiting transfer when you two geniuses showed up. You can still go on with your mission. You don't think the Imperials will be just a teensy bit suspicious that you rescued the Dead Eyes yet conveniently left me behind? Now, I have no choice but to abort my mission and try again somewhere else. Sir, we can deal with Zane later. Let's just find the rest of the squad and get out of here. Jorgen, sir, they're dead. The cold, they didn't make it. Trace? Copland? They're gone? But I thought... Zane. Take it easy, Jorgen. Stay out of this, sir. You killed them. You promised them a rescue that never came, and now they're dead for it. How many other soldiers have died for you? Huh? A hundred? A thousand? You can't kill me, Jorgen. Too many witnesses. As far as we're concerned, sir, the Imperials killed him. What? Wait, you can't just... Major, do something! Put the gun down, Jorgen. Zane has a lot to answer for, but this isn't the way. Fine. He's not worth it anyway. Much obliged. As for you, you think you can pull a blaster on me and walk away? I'll see you in prison for that. You'll have every soldier in the Republic gunning for you if this gets out. I... right. Consider my lips sealed. Let's get these men back to their squad. I'll call for an evac. They're off, sir. Mission accomplished. I know it was hard, but you did the right thing. Honestly, I'd rather not talk about it right now, sir. Let's just get out of here. Alright, so... Um, definitely the Empire has its own, uh... Its own little secrets and stuff, right? That uh, they're willing to sacrifice thousands of soldiers just to find one location is pretty, uh... I mean, it's wartime, so it makes sense, but, um... Pretty un unethical, I'd almost say? I don't know, so that's, that's really, like, there's no... No good guys in the Star Wars universe, really. Each each side kind of has their own... Their own good and, Master, and, and, and evil sides. Okay, so let's uh, talk to Jorgen here. Sir, I'd like to apologize for my behavior earlier. When I heard about Trace and Copland, I... 
I just lost it. Would have done something stupid if you hadn't stopped me. Losing a friend is no easy thing. I can accept it when a comrade falls in battle, but those men were sold out. I'd have been no better than Zane if I pulled that trigger. I'd just be another thug doing whatever it took to get his way. You're a good soldier, Jorgen. Don't forget that. Thank you, sir. There's always going to be men like Zane calling the shots in the Republic. Can't kill all of them. Better to work with the system than against it. The Republic needs more soldiers like you. You'll make it to the top someday. Don't know that I'll ever trust the brass again. But I trust you, sir. You kept me from making the biggest mistake of my life. I won't forget that. Alright, so let's accept that quickly. And we oh, gained a lot of influence with uh, him there. That's awesome. We're actually going to bring Dorn with us on our next mission. So let's quickly travel to Corellia here and see what's going on. Where are we going to? Where is Corellia? Um, so let's travel there. Kind of looks like a, an Earth type planet. That's kind of cool. So let's uh, look at the space traveling there. There we go. Um. <laughs> Major, good. Now that you've arrived, we can begin operations in earnest. Imperial forces, including General Rapton, have invaded Corellia in full force. Local resistance fighters have barely held them back from total victory. Corellia is the tipping point for the entire war. If the Imperials win here, they could reverse all our hard-fought advances. Corellia won't fall to the Empire on my watch. Your target is the Bastion, one of the main centers for logistics and strategic planning in the entire Republic. Rakton sees the Bastion during the invasion. He's clearly hoping to use the information inside to plan his next campaign against us. It's your job to stop him. Just tell me where to begin, General. The Bastion is one of the most heavily secured fortresses in the galaxy. Your team will need a lot of support to take it. To get the necessary manpower into the field, we're working with a local resistance leader, a Corellian security officer named Locke. Local intel can make a big difference. Before he entered Corsac, Locke served in special forces under my command. He's a dependable soldier, and he knows Corellia very well. We'll discuss the details once you arrive. We've set up our command center in a former cantina, the Gilded Descent. I'll move out right away, General. Watch for targets of opportunity, Major. Imperial commando teams are all over the area. See you soon. Garza out. All right, so let's um, rendezvous with General Garza on planet. So let's exit here. Exiting ship. Yeah, definitely very, very Earth-like this this world. Lots of lots of blue ocean. Let's see what it looks like when we actually get down there. Whoop! Definitely doesn't look like the nicest place. Although it is, it is kind of war torn, war torn, war torn. Yeah, war torn. Uh, all right now, so that's kind of why. I'm gonna look so good. So the Sith Empire is um, trying to take it from the Republic. So this is gonna be gonna be a tough one, that's for sure. Uh, let's bring Dorn with us. I'm gone. Ready. Dorn's my favorite anyway, so let's bring her on this last story planet. So I believe um, this intel. Should be should be uh, level uh, uh, fifty there on this planet. Whoop! I believe I believe Corellia is the last story mission uh, planet, but uh, we shall see. All right, oh, crew skills and stuff like that over here. Uh, where else are we going? Oh, we also got to take our um, our uh, uh, planet story here so we got the story arc Corellia here major I'm glad you're here we could use a good officer Corellia is under Imperial control every squad soldier and CO in the galaxy is fighting to get her back we thought the Empire had taken the planet by force turns out they had the Corellian Council's blessing why would the Corellian Council side with the Empire credits power no more elections your guess is as good as mine. The Empire's taken over factories, shipyards, even local transport. The transport blockade's become the most urgent problem. The Republic's got allies all over Corellia. 
But without access to the rocket tram system, most of the Republic army is stuck here. You need someone skilled to regain access, I take it. We've got our hands full just holding this spaceport. It's the only pipeline to Corellia we have left. Corellia is a core world, a major industrial hub, and one of the founding members of the Republic. If we fall here, it might be for good. General Aves knows more about the trans system situation. He wants to see anyone willing to help. The General's in command. I'll follow his orders. Some special ops think the chain of command doesn't apply. Glad you're not one of them. General Aves has a command bunker here in the spaceport. I'll tell him to expect you. All right, awesome. So it looks like we got to head to uh, the bunker down here. But before we do that, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys like to see it, that like, subscribe button. If you don't like to see it, you can hit that dislike button too. But hopefully you guys are having a blast because I am as we're nearing the end of the main story for Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, and then we'll start getting to the, kind of the expansion stuff, uh, some of the side missions and whatnot. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, guys, keep your stick on the ice.